Hello, Dennis. Uh, this is Varun here. Hi, Varun. What's up? Uh, you know, Dennis, I really try to get to know and understand the dates, but they really make it so difficult for me. What do you mean, Varun? Well, how on earth am I supposed to get to know them if all they want to talk is business? I mean, I'm interested in the business as well, for sure, but they seem so impatient all the time. And frankly, uh, can I be frank with you, Dennis? Sure. Uh, you know, they, they seem a little cold. I mean, when we have a meeting, whether it is online or in person, first thing is that they open their laptop, find their presentation and start to talk. Business. I mean, what's wrong with a little chit-chat and some coffee or tea before you start? I mean, uh, can I be frank with you, Dennis? Yeah, sure, Varun. You know, they, they seem like they don't care much about you. Is that true? Well, I think you might just have different expectations about how much personal information to share and how much you need to know each other before you can do business. One way to distinguish cultures is what we could call the coconut culture and the peach culture. The peach culture is easily permeable. People will show personal interest, they will invite and seem very curious to make contact and build relations. But as you can see, there is an inner core. They might socialize more with business partners, but they will not necessarily be intimate about their personal life or think of you as a close friend. The coconut culture is different. It's not very easy to crack it open, because inside the coconut, they don't see relations as so important in business life. But once you get into the coconut society, they can suddenly be surprisingly open. As you can probably guess, Indian cultures are usually peach cultures and Nordic cultures are usually coconuts. That's why they might go straight for the task at hand and look at their watch and keep the time, while Indians think that they are rushing things and seem disinterested. But Danish businessmen just want to be professional, and that means they don't mix business with socializing. Indians generally do the opposite. So Danes, take your time to land. Spend a couple of minutes on chit-chat. Let your watch turn a little slower and have that extra cup of coffee. Ask some personal questions and show interest. Remember how many kids your Indian colleagues have, although I admit it might be hard to remember their names. And don't look like you are in a hurry to get out of the place again. And Indians, have patience and don't see it as a sign of disinterest. In Denmark, times and schedules are saint, and they are always afraid of wasting people's time, because they work shorter hours and need to be efficient while they are there. They don't feel the need to know you so well, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't make an effort. Was was that all right, Rune? Yes, that was perfect. Thank you 